Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today, you're probably wondering why does Ling Ling look like crap? Well, it's because it reflects my mood right now. So I thought, you know, instead of getting all dressed up and look like everything is amazing, I just didn't want to do anything about my looks because this is real life and I'm kind of annoyed right now. So let me tell you what has happened. Well, uh, I went from I went from I left my hometown on Thursday, and then I took uh, me and my mom. We drove to Copenhagen. We had a great time together on Thursday and Friday. And Friday midnight, I was going to fly out from Copenhagen. It all went well, no problems at all. Uh, we flew three hours from midnight to 3 a.m. in the morning and because of time difference it was then it was like 4 a.m. in Russia uh, I'm not good with missing my sleep. Uh, I tried to sleep a bit on the tr on the plane I think I slept but still it was only like less than three hours so I was tired and I came to Moscow and I just really don't like that airport. It's just uh, it has a really long name with S. I can't uh, pronounce it anyways. Um, but you get in there and the service is non-existent, everyone is so rude and nobody speaks English, not a single word. And I know here in China nobody speaks English, but yeah, I get what foreigners they mean when they're annoyed about Chinese people not speaking English. Because when I'm in Russia, I'm just like, you could have tried a little bit. Just say hello, just say thank you, but no. Um, yeah, so I slept a little bit in Burger King. I was uh, laying down on one of their benches until a waiter, she came like rrr, 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 and I was like, oh sorry. Um, I stayed there for a few more hours. I had to, I had a, what is that called? A uh, stopover for eight hours. That was quite a long time in Moscow. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I stayed and I survived and the internet was okay most of the time, so that was cool. And I flew seven hours to Beijing and then my nightmare started. <laughs> uh, first, I always think that because it's the middle of the night, we uh, landed at like 1 a.m. So I always think that it should be more quiet in the airport, which is not the case. It just means that there, uh, are, there is less staff in service but still a lot of people of course it's china but yeah so we go to immigration and there are three staff members who are taking care of uh, us the foreigners the foreign queue and there are like four for the chinese one but bear in mind uh there are only like 10 chinese people in a queue and there are like a ton of foreigners standing in their queue and you know the security guard is just walking around looking oh this doesn't look good no it doesn't then please do something about it but he didn't so it's just like okay just breathe take it easy don't worry just put on some music i always download the tv show so i can watch something so i don't go mad um so after an hour standing in the queue i go through there i get through there and i get out on the other side and i run down to find my luggage yeah but my luggage is not there and it doesn't arrive and a lot of the other people are like what the where is my luggage so we realized that our luggage has not arrived and I'm like, oh my god, like it's now 2 a.m. in the morning, I haven't been sleeping for days and ah, because the, it, when I was going from Copenhagen at midnight, I'd been out all day with my mom, we had a little rest, but still I was so tired. So we went to this little tiny office, two employees working there and there were a lot of us who had lost our luggage and nobody spoke English of course and it took forever it took forever we spent two hours in there because I was so tired I was just like la 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 writing it down and then I left and I went to the queue for the taxi thank god that went well um, I came back to my dorm at like 
what was that 4 a.m so exhausted and i was just like okay i'm i want to go online before i go anywhere oh yeah i realized in the airport that the wi-fi was not working and my phone number was not working and i was like why is my phone number not working um, I thought I should probably charge some money on it, so I thought I could go on the airport uh, Wi-Fi and then charge money on the phone and then go from there, but no, it didn't work. Um, and I came back here and the Wi-Fi was not working and my phone was not working and, you know, they told me in the airport they would call me when my luggage arrived today. Uh, they would actually send it to uh, the dorm, which is like huge because that usually never happens i heard this from the other guys who lost their nuggets before um yeah so nothing was working so i slept a few hours and then i went out to try to no because to make my wi-fi work i need to find my student id card and i can't find it so i started looking for it and i found it i thought so but i actually found the one i thought i had lost before so when i went to the supermarket to charge my wi-fi account it didn't work and i was just like oh my god so i went back here at 9 a.m today this morning and i slept six hours and now it's a little after three and I went to see my friend in the other room and she has Wi-Fi, thank God. And uh, I charged my phone and then I realized that when I was in the airport, I had told them the wrong phone number. So if they tried to call me, it wouldn't have worked anyway. So I need to call them and ask them to change the number. And they're just like, Whoa! and I was just like, sorry, but I wrote the wrong number. And then in the end, they fixed it. And now I'm just like, <laughs> I need some food and then I need to go to Zumba uh, in the gym because the teacher is so happy and get a shower and I need to try to forget all of these things that happen. Thank God I have some chocolate here. <sighs> yeah, and of course my luggage didn't arrive yet and I'm probably not gonna fly with a Russian Aeroflot again. I really like them because uh, I could bring two suitcases, so even though they kept speaking Russian to me during the seven hour flight, I thought you should have learned it by now that I don't speak Russian. Um, I was just like, you know, being open-minded because I can bring my suitcase. But yeah, probably not gonna happen again because when I came to Beijing, they said to me, some of the other passengers that Oh yeah, they lost our luggage last time as well, and I was just like, what? Really? Yeah. So, anyways, that was a little update from Ling Ling, but I am now back in Beijing, and yeah, I can probably not upload this video anyways, because I don't have any Wi-Fi, but it's gonna happen at some point. So, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, like if you feel sorry for me. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling, and uh, Ling Ling, see you Bye-bye.